Hi guys, so today we are just doing some maintenance in the garden. So we found this bug, or worm, and we're not sure, we're quite sure what it is, so we're going to take a picture of it. And so it was a large yellow underwing caterpillar, and they're harmful to plants, so I don't think we want him. So we had to get rid of the beets and stuff and the squash because the garden had lots of aphids and we just don't want them infecting our peppers here or our tomatoes so we had to pick them and we've been having lots of june bugs right now we're just looking for some grubs but all we found was that large underwing bug there's an earthworm the, the lantana is really sprouting here We planted some broccoli here. So in this uh, bed, a couple months ago, I had cantaloupe. And towards the end of the gardening season, they end up getting infested with aphids. And I think that's why it's important to rotate your crops. I put a cucumber in here and um, it has been infested with aphids. I've tried to put neem oil on it and dish soap with water but they just keep continuing to get infected and so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it because I want my tomato plants that are in here right now they're thriving and doing well and I don't want them to get infected so again I think that's why it's important to rotate your crops because then it reduces the pest on your plants. The asparagus is doing really good here. Really good. Here's some more of our broccoli. These are some onions and broccoli and broccoli and broccoli. Just an entire area of broccoli and then onions. And then I, we have our tomatoes. So right now we are mending I'm going to mend the soil and that means we're going to try and add a little bit of nutrients to back to the, the soil. This stuff stinks. <laughs> yeah, it has some compost in it, which is manure, so it adds nutrients to the soil. And then I'll probably um, get some straw to cover these today to keep the soil nice and moist because I noticed the soil is drying out. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a seed that didn't sprout. Oh, I don't. <laughs> but you don't want your soil to dry out because then the earthworms and all the organisms and life in the soil won't thrive. So we just found some tomatoes. So great to finally have some. Okay, so we cooked the beets and now we're seeing how they turned out. They might need to cook a little bit longer. Interesting. Hmm. I think you just removed the skin. Oh, they're warm. They seem soft. I thought they were supposed to be red on the inside. Oh, they smell good. Interesting. So we'll cut it open here and cut it up in just a minute. It's very hot. Okay, we're gonna cut them or it. It looks weird. Maybe it put a little bit of butter on it. Maybe. And some salt. Some butter. Okay, we're trying them. Okay. So, mm, it's delicious. It is? Mm-hmm. Absolutely delicious. That's so, it's a win. It's a win. Hi guys, so it's a few days later because the gardening has been really slow. And so we're picking back so we up. We got these like domes from Dollar Tree 
to put over the broccoli because they're getting leaf miners everywhere. And we're hoping this will help. But they open like this, but we're trying to keep them kind of like this so the moths don't get through. Or the leaf miner flies. We're gonna put some rocks on the side to keep them in the ground so they don't fly away. Ammo's here, bird watching. Here's our fish emulsion. It literally looks black. By the way, there. we use this kind of fish emulsion here. And it really works. So, as you know, we ran out. I think I've already said that. But if not, we ran out. And so we're putting rocks to keep it in the ground. I think it looks really good. We're going to do DIY on this. Connor likes to sit right here at the door and whine for some reason. <laughs> what you whining about? My goodness. We just killed another one of these June bug guys. Definitely not good for the Right now we're putting fish emulsion on the one and only slot trail. Connor finally decided to come outside. This is his area. He always comes back here. Up, oh, there's a leaf miner. Gotta pick it. <laughs> so we've got a pepper over here that's getting eaten alive. So we're doing a DIY film, right? Yeah. So we've got another plaster for the garden. I'm going to go put here. some holes in it so it can breathe. Okay. So this is way too thick plastic, so we're going to try to figure out something else. We're going to do this. There we go. There we go. Interesting little spider up here. Just hanging out. Oh, there we go. And we have one more over here. So this is how we do our fish motion. So it's about two tablespoons and a gallon of water. Yeah. And it is very stinky. Yeah, it smells so bad. It literally smells like dead fish. Definitely don't want this to hang around the house. Then we put some water in it. So we use this to give it to our tomatoes. To get it down to the root. Yeah. Put some fish emulsion here. So I'm just washing it off. So the tomatoes are heavy feeders. I just put this down here to see if we can get it closer down to the roots. 